of softball, singing, and runs the chicken strips. A senior from Seward High School, your state historian, Jillian Mettenbrink. A future skilled and technical sciences teacher, he enjoys football, trap shooting, and country music. A senior from Hastings High School, your state parliamentarian, Thomas Harley. She describes herself as indescribable. She's the skills from the Sand Hills. From Thedford High School, your Skills USA state reporter, Rhiannon Painter. A future student of the UNL College of Engineering. He enjoys running, biking, gaming, and hunting. A senior from North Platte High School, your state treasurer, Kanan Wilson. She's a senior from North Platte High School. Her skills include public speaking and making people laugh. She loves Texas Roadhouse Rolls and caffeine. She plans on attending South Dakota State University. Your state secretary, Rebecca Amy. A future veterinarian. He enjoys puns, card games, and Reuben sandwiches. A senior from Seward High School, your state vice president, Cordell Verga. He's a plumber by day and a firefighter by night. A student at Metropolitan Community College, your college technical vice president, Chandler Cannon. His skills include public speaking, welding, and not smiling in photos. Your high school president from Louisville, Maxton Yarnell. Hello, SkillsUSA Nebraska. I'm Jared Harris, your National High School Parliamentarian, here with a message of solidarity, compassion, and hope. COVID-19 has produced an unprecedented halt to normal life. Many events that we'd put time and effort into have been postponed or canceled, and it may seem like all is lost, but trust me when I say it isn't. It's important that we keep in mind everything that we've already accomplished this year. In the entire state of Nebraska, nearly 3,000 members participated in SkillsUSA. They attended conferences like the Fall Leadership Conference, the Mid-America Leadership Conference, and middle school conferences as well. All of these were great successes and are something that we should be incredibly proud of. People often refer to us as leaders of tomorrow, but it's more important now than ever that we become the leaders of today, and we already have the skills to do so. We have the decision-making skills required to make tough choices in these hectic times. We have the teamwork skills to inspire others to work alongside us. And we have the technical skills that America is going to need most when it rises from this crisis. We may not have anticipated this crisis, but we sure are prepared for it. Be proud of what you've accomplished and what you're going to accomplish. Be proud of who you are. And remember who we are. Because we are Skills USA. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first ever virtual SkillsUSA Nebraska State Leadership and Skills Conference. Thank you guys so much for being here. And um, in this program, we're going to be going over some very important and exciting things. But first, I'd like to talk with you a little bit about my journey in SkillsUSA. Now, I actually started SkillsUSA my eighth grade year, and that year I didn't really do much in my chapter. I just went to a couple meetings at my school and never actually went to a middle school conference. But um, that year got me exposed to Skills USA, and so freshman year I actually knew what it was. Um, that year, my freshman year, a couple of friends uh, convinced me to go compete at the state conference in welding fabrication. So I did, and as soon as I walked in the arena, I was absolutely amazed by how big Skills USA was. Um, I I saw kids from my school walking across the stage as state officers, and I knew that that was something that I wanted to do. So the next year, my sophomore year, 
I went to Fall Leadership in Mid-America, and I absolutely loved those two conferences. And I decided after Mid-America that I wanted to run for state office that year. And I did, and I got it. And my junior year, I was elected the state vice president for Skills USA, and I absolutely loved it. That was one of my favorite years of Skills USA throughout my high school career, and it is something that I will treasure with the people I met, with the officers that I served with, and all that I accomplished with Skills USA that year, and spe and specifically even more me growing as a person. Um, that year, I competed the best I ever did in my competition of welding fabrication. And I also got elected again. And um, this year I served as your state president. And it was absolutely amazing. It was actually probably one of my top favorite years of Skills USA, even with everything going on and actually having a real state conference. But um, I absolutely loved it because I got to go to the middle school conferences. I got to meet new people from across the state at Mid-America. I got to see my friends again that I met my even freshman and sophomore years in skills. And it's it was just absolutely amazing to see all those people again. And we all got to see each other grow over four years. So I, I hope you guys stick with Skills USA. And I really want you guys to have the experiences that I had in the coming years. So please, if you are thinking about running for state office, do so. Now, um... Skills USA Nebraska has several social media accounts. You can stay up to date with Skills USA activities. So please take the time to follow some of our social media accounts on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even the Skills USA Nebraska um, YouTube channel. Um, thank you guys all for watching, and um, uh, we hope you have a great time in this virtual conference. Um, thank you. Skills USA Nebraska appreciates all of the sponsors that support our organization. Um, right now, I would like to introduce the Nebraska Energy Workforce Consortium, who is one of our biggest sponsors this year. So um, here they are to say a few words. The Nebraska Energy Workforce Consortium is a group of electric and natural gas utilities, municipalities, along with education and government partners, whose purpose is to identify current and future energy workforce needs and to establish strategies to recruit and sustain a qualified energy workforce throughout Nebraska. Our mission is a unified and joint effort of Nebraska's energy, government, and education partners to develop and implement strategies to ensure the existence of a diverse, qualified, and skilled industry workforce. Industry partners in the Nebraska Consortium Group include Black Hills Energy and Northwestern Energy, which are both natural gas companies, Omaha Public Power District, Nebraska Public Power District, Lincoln Electric System, and MEAN, a Municipal Energy Agency of Nebraska. We would like for you to consider an energy career. Why energy careers? The top priority craft positions do not require a college degree, normally an associate's degree. Over half of the energy employees will be eligible to retire in the next 10 years, and that gives you many opportunities to move up in the ranks in the supervision and senior management. These are rewarding, well-paying careers that benefit millions of people every day. These careers are great for those who enjoy working with their hands, are curious about how things work, and like to solve problems. Energy powers practically everything in our lives. Energy comes from many different sources, including natural gas, coal, uranium, water, sun, and wind. Transforming natural resources into energy and safely delivering that energy to homes and businesses require the talent of many types of skilled workers. Just how does that work? Well, we take all those natural resources and all those different forms to the plant. Through many different processes, we generate electricity. That electricity is run through a transformer which steps up the voltage for transmission. The electricity then goes through transmission lines that carry electricity long distances. When it comes to a community, there's another transformer that actually steps the voltage down. And there are distribution lines that carry that electricity to homes and businesses. We are so excited to be partnering with Skills USA Nebraska again this year. Our representatives are looking forward to visiting with students and advisors this coming school year at all Skills USA conferences. 
and sharing opportunities. Thank you. The SkillsUSA Academic Achievement Award is presented to every member who has attained a grade point average of 3.5 or higher throughout the 2019-2020 academic year. Education plays an essential role in any career field, but it is especially present in the SkillsUSA framework. The three components of the framework include personal skills, workplace skills, and technical skills grounded in academics. A good education lays a solid foundation for students to grow in these categories and leads to success in the workforce. This award is one that all members should strive for. We had nine of our schools submit names for this award. Those schools include Bancroft Rosalie with 16 members, Kearney with two members, Louisville with 14 members, North Platte with 22 members, Westside with eight members, Papillion La Vista High with 34 members, Papillion La Vista South with 12 members, Syracuse with four members, and Seward with 56 members for a total of 168 members. The academic achievement pins have been sent to the schools and this information will be placed on the state website next week. Congratulations students on your hard earned success. SkillsUSA is so much more than the state and national conferences. Our members are active in their communities through community service and competing in competitions. Our education in SkillsUSA comes through Fall Leadership, Mid-America, and the State Conference. The Distinguished Ambassador Award is given to dedicated SkillsUSA members and advisors. These champions of our organization exemplify what a role model SkillsUSA member looks like. We had 13 schools with distinguished ambassadors. They include Aurora, two members, Omaha Benson, eight members, Brady, one member, Central Community College Hastings, seven members, Gretna, five members, Hastings, 11 members, Louisville, eight members, North Platte, 12 members, Papillion La Vista South, five members, Scotts Bluff, four members, Seward, two members, Waverly, two members, and Wayne State College with three members. Congratulations on receiving this award and thank you for your dedication to Skills USA. Constantly, Skills USA is growing in numbers of chapters and members. I'm glad to announce this year Skills USA Nebraska welcomes the following 18 chapters. Aurora High School, Advisor Keith Dubs. Cedar Bluffs High School, Advisor Garrett Zink. Conestoga High School, Advisor Ryan Burns. East Butler High School, Advisor Chris Polensky. Laurel Concord Coleridge High School, Advisor Pat Harrington. Lincoln Southwest High School, Advisor Travis Simpson. Omaha Central High School, Advisor Lisa Wheeler. Omaha Nation Macy. Advisor Matt Spawn, Wakefield High School, Advisor Will Tietmeyer, Wasaw High School, Advisor Bob Evans, Crete High School, Advisor Andy Christensen, Aspen Creek Middle School, Advisor Matt Gatewood, Gretna Middle School, Advisor Craig Brown, Lincoln Lutheran Middle School, Advisor Jeff Richard, Wasaw Middle School, Advisor Bob Evans. Congratulations to all of these new chapters and welcome to the SkillsUSA Nebraska family. These chapters will receive their new charters this fall when school resumes. The Chapter of Excellence program recognizes the use of SkillsUSA framework in chapter activities. By using the framework, chapters have a guide on how to properly create activities that encourage member involvement. We would now like to recognize the chapters that have received chapter excellence. The following schools received Level 2, Silver Level, Central Community College, Hastings, Papillion La Vista South High School, Aurora High School, Omaha Benson High School, Bennington High School, and Louisville High School. These schools have received a frame certificate for their outstanding efforts in getting and keeping their chapters involved. North Platte High School received our top chapter of distinction 
gold level and has advanced to the National Model of Excellence selection. We will find out in June if North Platte takes any honors in the Models of Excellence. They also received a frame certificate and four gold distinction banners for their classrooms. The following chapters received level one quality chapter status and we are sharing those schools with you on the screen. Cozad High School, Hastings High School, Metropolitan Community College, and Scotts Bluff High School. Congratulations to all of these chapters. We have been blessed with 185 professional advisors who work tirelessly to help us grow and excel as SkillsUSA members. Our achievements would not be possible without our supportive advisors. Who better to push us past our comfort zones and inspire us to become better than our own advisors? For all your dedication and hard work, we thank you. Unfortunately for us, five of these sensational advisors have decided to part with their careers as advisors and teachers. They have dedicated their career to guiding SkillsUSA members along their paths within the organization. The first is Larry St. Hilaire. Larry has been at Omaha Bryan for many years and has taken many students to nationals as Courtesy Corps members. Next is Jack Jenkins, who has been at Norris High School for many years. Jack has had many state champions and has taken countless members to nationals and has had much success there. The next retiree is Lynn Reinhardt of North Platte. Lynn retired from Imperial and then came back into teaching for another four years and finally found the opportunity to be part of this great organization with the North Platte chapter. He is now retiring for good, maybe. Diane Livingston of North Platte is our next retiree. Diane has found much success at North Platte mainly with the opening and closing ceremonies teams. They are the defending national champions, and she decided to come back one more year and take her seniors to nationals again to defend their ranking. But this COVID-19 virus closed the door on that. Diane has taken several teams, either winning or placing at nationals. Our last retiree is Dominic Reichs of Ravenna. Dom has been a steady force at Ravenna High School for many years and has had many state champions and has also taken countless members to nationals to compete. We wish you all a well-deserved and happy retirement. Don't forget, we may need help at state conference next year and we have you in our sights. These recipients will receive a beautiful Eagle Bust Award with their name and school on it. One SkillsUSA advisor is named the Advisor of the Year. They are nominated and the committee receives the letters from all those who nominate and take into consideration the testimony they receive. SkillsUSA advisors are one of the most important parts of our organization at both local and state levels. They not only work to prepare us for competitions, but also our lives outside of SkillsUSA. At this time, we would like to recognize this year's Advisor of the Year for their excellent work within their local chapter and within the organization as a whole. Congratulations to this year's SkillsUSA Nebraska Advisor of the Year, Matt Hurt of Hastings High School. Mr. Hurt will receive a trophy for his award. The Builders Award is one of the most prestigious and difficult awards to earn as a chapter. Without the involvement of all of the schools actively recruiting new members, SkillsUSA would not be as large as it is today. The schools that will be announced are great examples of excellent leadership, public relations, and connections within their school and community. We have a tie in both the high school and college technical divisions. For the high school, North Platte and Waverly both had 22 new members from last year's membership. North Platte's lead advisor is Will Winchester, and Waverly's lead advisor is Aaron Jones. In the college technical division, both Metropolitan Community College Omaha and Wayne State College had seven member increases this year. Metro's lead advisor is Zach Pahacek, and Wayne State's lead advisor is Greg Vanderweel. We have one more award for the highest percentage of new members since last year. The chapter receiving this award is Hastings High School with a 75% increase in membership. Matt Hurt is the lead advisor at Hastings. Congratulations to these five schools. You will all be receiving your trophies later this month. This year's SkillsUSA Week was celebrated from February 2nd through the 8th. 
Actually, any week in February works for Skills USA week. Whatever works best for each local chapter. Skills USA week gives members the opportunity to express their appreciation for Skills USA, as well as advocate for other students, the school administration, and community leaders. It is a privilege to recognize the top three schools who showed the most involvement during Skills USA week. The documentation is given via video and attachments or an email with attachments of pictures, stories, and local news reports. The third place winner is Seward High School lead advisor Kurt Holiday. The second place winner is Kozad High School lead advisor Don Beans. The first place winner of Skills USA Week is Bennington High School. Their advisors are Larry Claus and Tom Schumacher. All three schools will receive their Skills USA Week trophies later this month. The Skills USA Steering Committee is a group of dedicated individuals that have invested a great amount of time to help organize and plan this year's state leadership conference. These members have organized contest coordinators, gathered contest materials, and have sought out sponsorships that supported this year's conference. Even though our state leadership conference was canceled, we would still like to thank the members of our steering committee for all of their hard work this past year. The members of our steering committee are as follows. Sandra Krolikowski, CHI Health St. Francis Medical Center, Todd Inc., TC Inc. Builders, Brett Forsman, Career Pathway Institute, Roxanne Holliday, Central Community College, Grand Island, Cindy Johnson, Grand Island Chamber of Commerce, Zandra Carlini, Grand Island Convention and Visitor Bureau, Dennis Harder, newly retired from Chief Construction Company, Dan Phillips, Grand Island Public Schools, Diane Willie, Heartland Event Center, Fauner Park, and Megan Billington, Heartland Event Center, Bonner Park. I would now like to introduce our second gold sponsor this year. That was Southeast Community College. Um, they have over 50 areas of study across three campuses uh, in Beatrice, Milford, and Lincoln. Um, those areas include collision repair, diesel construction, manufacturing, engineering programs, and they also have healthcare, human services, and culinary programs. So thank you guys so much. And um, I would now like to hand it off to them to say a few words. Hi everyone, my name is Mackenzie Chupik and I'm an admission representative at Southeast Community College. At Southeast Community College, we have over 60 programs of study to choose from. We offer several technical skills or trade programs in industry areas such as manufacturing, transportation, computer information, construction, health, culinary, and many more. We also have an academic transfer program. SCC has several campus locations, which are located in Beatrice, Milford, and Lincoln, as well as six learning centers across Southeast Nebraska. At SCC, we create a learning environment with small classroom sizes, giving you more opportunities to work one-on-one -on -one with your instructor and to have easy access to all of our student resources. Students get to build their skills for their industry by working within our industry standard lab spaces, featuring the latest technology helping you prepare for your career. Overall, SEC has a 94% success rate, meaning 94% of our students either graduate and pursue their career or transfer to another institution to continue their education. SEC has strong relationships with organizations and businesses across Nebraska providing a great network for student employment after graduation. Southeast is proud to be a gold level sponsor. We believe in the mission of Skills USA in which to provide students an opportunity to showcase their skills within a trade and the value of a technical education and an opportunity for students to gain leadership skills. We are proud to sponsor an organization that helps build a skilled workforce in career and technical fields for the future.
On behalf of Southeast Community College, we would like to congratulate the 2019-2020 award winners, as well as the student officers who had an amazing year at Skills USA. Finally, we want to congratulate the newly elected officers. You will do great for this organization and in your new positions. Thank you. Over 100 contests at the conference in a normal year, it would be impossible to run, organize, and judge all of our members without the help of our contest coordinators and judges. These 400 plus contest coordinators and judges take time out of their work schedules to help you better yourself and to get you to the next level because they see greatness in every one of you. They plan the competitions, set up the competition area, organize the procedure for the day and time of the competition. Then judge and score each contestant. Many of these individuals provide prizes to our champions. These members of Skills USA believe in the work and industry skills you provide to the growing economy. The entire list of coordinators and judges will be on our website later this month as it gets updated. We are truly grateful for all you do and look forward to next year's state conference. Thanks again. The Wayne State College Incoming Freshman Scholarship is normally presented by one of Wayne State College's instructors or advisors. This $300 scholarship is an annual scholarship given to a freshman coming into the teacher education program. This year's recipient is Max Yarnell from Louisville High School. Congratulations, Max. This year, SkillsUSA was given the opportunity to award two scholarships for student teaching. One to Wayne State College worth $500 and one to the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, also worth $500. The recipient of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Scholarship is Kylie Dodson. And the Wayne State College recipient is Hunter Weiss. Congratulations to the both of you. You will both be receiving checks next month along with a certificate of scholarship. The SkillsUSA Nebraska Board of Directors voted to award two $500 SkillsUSA Nebraska Foundation scholarships sponsored by NMC. The winners are Thomas Harling of Hastings High School and Jedediah McFarland of Louisville High School. Congratulations. These two recipients will receive a certificate and will be awarded their $500 scholarships at the end of the first semester. The Jake Duncan Scholarship is awarded each year to one outstanding individual. Jake Duncan was a SkillsUSA member and state officer that touched many lives. He was a member of the Ravenna chapter and served as a reporter of the 1988-89 state officer team. Jake used his abilities to help develop leadership workshops and increase membership in chapters. In the summer of 1989, Jake was killed in a tragic car accident. The scholarship was created to honor his friendship, talent, dedication, involvement, and participation in Skills USA. Many applicants have proved that they are deserving of this prestigious award. However, only one can be the 2020 Jake Duncan Outstanding Award recipient. Congratulations to Max Yarnell of Louisville High School. Max will receive his scholarship next month. Congratulations to your 2020-2021 State Officer from Hastings High School, Grace Ballou. This year's going to fly by. Enjoy every bit of it. One of our new State Officers is Ariel Bryant from Thedford. Congratulations. One of your 2020-2021 Skills USA Nebraska State Officers from Seward, Ian Fiala. Congratulations. Congratulations to your new Nebraska Skills USA State Officer. From Papillion La Vista South, Taylin Grady. Your next State Officer elect for the 2020 2021 school year from Louisville High School is Riley Reed. Congratulations, Riley. 
Congratulations to your 2020-2021 State Officer Elect from the Stewart High School Chapter, Audrey Wang. Hello, Skills USA Nebraska. My name is Jesse Zweep, and I'm the State Officer Advisor. Greg and I want to thank all of our state officers for your time, effort, and dedication to Skills USA Nebraska this year. Greg and I are thankful for your many gifts and talents and ideas that you have exhibited as student leaders. Throughout the year, you have shown professionalism and leadership and have been excellent representatives and ambassadors for Skills USA Nebraska. Your hard work and effort has helped SkillsUSA Nebraska to come to reach new highs of student members as well as starting many new chapters. As a state officer team, you have built a solid foundation for future officers and SkillsUSA members. And I hope you look back and know that you have done great things. Each of us here today thanks you for your service and we wish you all the best of luck in the future. Greg and I would like to represent each of you with the plaque, which you've already received, on behalf of SkillsUSA Nebraska. And we want to thank you again for all your hard work and dedication as a SkillsUSA Nebraska State Officer. Reporter Rhiannon Painter from Thedford High School. Treasurer Kanan Wilson from North Platte High School. Historian Jillian Mettenbrink, Seward High School. Parliamentarian Thomas Harling, Hastings High School. Secretary Rebecca Addy, North Platte High School. Vice President Cordell Verbka, Seward High School. And President Max Charnel, Louisville High School. Also, Career and Technical Vice President Chandler Cannon from Metropolitan Community College. Congratulations, State Officers, on all your hard work, and thank you. Throughout my four years as a member of Skills USA Nebraska, I have made so many memories that I know I will cherish for years to come. However, I think the most impactful experience that I've had was having the opportunity to serve as your 2019-2020 State Historian. It's impossible to put into words what this organization means to me, so I would just like to thank you, the members, for making this dream become a reality. Thank you for having a passion for your future, and thank you for making Skills USA the great organization that it is. I cannot wait to see what all of you accomplish in the future. I will never forget my time as a member of our organization. So thank you for everything, Skills USA Nebraska. This past year of serving as a Skills USA Nebraska state officer has been unforgettable. During my term as state parliamentarian, I have met countless new friends and have had many opportunities that I would not have had otherwise. As my term comes to an end, I reflect on the lifelong friends and relationships I have made through being a part of the officer team. I owe many thanks to SkillsUSA as it has helped me to choose my future career. I look forward to becoming a skilled and technical science teacher and sharing the best kept secret of SkillsUSA with many others. This past year has been one of the greatest of my life. Thank you, SkillsUSA Nebraska. As my term as your SkillsUSA Nebraska State Reporter comes to an end, I would like to thank everyone for this extraordinary opportunity. This past year, I have grown to be a better leader, speaker, and communicator, all thanks to SkillsUSA and the fantastic people I've met. I couldn't have asked for a better team for my first year of serving in office. I will cherish the memories and experiences that this organization has given me for the rest of my life. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for SkillsUSA and myself as well. Once again, thank you, and I wish you all the best on your journey with SkillsUSA. Hello everyone, my name is Kanan Wilson, and for the last three years I've been a proud member of SkillsUSA. This last year I served as your state treasurer and I wouldn't take any second of it back. The state officer team has become a second family, and I am so honored to have served with it. Whether up late setting up for a conference or running a session, every second was amazing. Through the course of the year, I have met so many amazing people from all over the state. I have come to call many of these people my friends. Members of SkillsUSA are our future, 
and I am honored to have served as your state officer. As I leave office, I just want to wish everyone good luck in their lives and thank everyone for allowing me the opportunity to serve as your state treasurer. This past year has been an amazing experience being able to serve as your state secretary. The skills I have further developed this year, including communication, teamwork, and public speaking, will greatly help me for the rest of my life. This amazing team has helped each other be the best we can be. I am thankful to have been able to have served with these people and believe this year could not have gone better. Thank you SkillsUSA Nebraska for the awesome opportunities. Keep working hard in all of your competitions and finding new experiences to be a part of. Over the past four years, SkillsUSA has grown to be one of the biggest parts of my life. I've met friends who now seem like family, advisors who've helped shape who I am today, and had experiences that I will never forget. Being in SkillsUSA has taught me many valuable lessons, both with technical and leadership skills, that I will be able to use in the workforce and life ahead of me. My time in SkillsUSA has allowed me to grow as a leader, a worker, and an individual, and it has been an experience that I don't regret. I am so grateful to have had the opportunity to serve SkillsUSA these last two years. It has been an opportunity unparalleled by anything. Thank you for everything, SkillsUSA Nebraska. I would like to thank everyone for giving me the opportunity to serve as your CT Vice President once again this year. I have had more fun this year than I thought was possible. Being a state officer has given me many great opportunities to meet all the great members of Skills USA. This year I have gotten out of my comfort zone with speaking to large groups and have become a stronger leader and gained confidence in myself. Lastly, I would like to thank my advisors for everything they had did for me this last year. Without them, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Thank you for all the great memories, Skills USA Nebraska. The past two years of my life have been absolutely amazing, and most of what has made my life amazing is getting to serve as a Skills USA State Officer the last couple years. So thank you guys so much for allowing me the opportunity for um, getting to serve as your Skills USA State Vice President and as well as your Skills USA State President. I have nothing but love for this organization and all the people that I have met. So thank you guys so much. Skills.